Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Boogie's Bleeding Hell. Quite a devilish little pile of mucus. We've got the devil, I guess, as, as a booger. This comes to us from the boogies. It does come with a figurine with detachable keychain and a battle card and flicker disc. All of which you can go to uh, theboogies.com. You can play along there. Uh, very similar to Mr. Snot, I've already shot a review of him. Uh, Bleeding Hell um, is a much larger sized figure than that of the uh, pocket boogies that Spot has also reviewed. If you are interested in these and also interested in the other boogies that Spot's reviewed, I'm going to provide the link down below to weloveodd.com. Um, actually, a really cool website for t-shirts and other neat collectibles. And I found the cool thing about this site is there's things on there that I really didn't see at other places. So it's definitely worth checking out. On the back, there is a the flip disc featuring uh, Bleeding Hell. The read-up... The read-up on Bleeding Hell says, The Lord of Darkness, the bringer of all that is evil and bad in the nostril, the nosebleed. Bleeding Hell wants you to just keep picking and picking your nose until he can finally escape and destroy your nice, clean handkerchief. Oh, or, or, there was also a guy I went to school with in public school, and he used to do that, and like totally wipe it on his socks. You could like, you'd be working away, working in math, and maybe doodling some girl that you had a crush on, and then you'd look over, and you could see it all over him. Oh, it was so gross! Anyways... That's, that's imagery that you don't need, and I don't need to re-remember, so let's just erase that. Where's that men in black? Oh, it's too late. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to take a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Bleeding Hell. Don't go anywhere, my friends. Stay tuned. With Bleeding Hell, you'll get yourself the card that was featured on the back of the package. So if you want to keep it, you don't have to worry about keeping the package to hold on to this. You can get rid of the packaging and keep yourself a really neat card. Also indicated as well, you get yourself the Flickr disc, which you can use on boogies.com. The boogies.com, there's a picture of Bleeding Hell. It's a solid, actually solid piece of plastic too. And finally... The last thing that you get, very similar to Mr. Snot, you get yourself the keychain. So what you can do with Bleeding Hell, which, by the way, looks really cool. I dig the... I dig... You know what? As much as I like Mr. Snot, I think I like Bleeding Hell just a little bit more. But what you can do, he is on his display base featuring a front rubber uh, tile card that says Bleeding Hell. You can take Bleeding Hell and just unpeg him. The initial unpegging seems to always be the the most difficult spot is certainly up for the challenge though. Oh, this one actually is really stuck on there. Maybe just a little bit of wiggling. There we go. These pegs did not want to let go. Did not want to let go one bit. But what you can do, you can take the keychain, the little tiny hook so you need to have very surgical like hands. Luckily Spots has very small hands. A curse, perhaps by some. Spot relishes it, it's paid off in the world of reviewing. And you can hook that on and you've got a really neat keychain. Or, you see keychain, I also see that would look really cool hanging from my mirror in my car. I don't think anyone's going to mess with me if they see a bloodied booger hanging from my mirror. So you have options, you have some options available. Um, you just take the hook, just unhook it, I'm not going to keep it on here for the rest of the review. Get off. Get off said hook. Get off. It's really... There we go. There we go. Having a look at Bleeding Hell. He's very red. And he's got some nice black going on on the... I assume that to be hair. Let's just leave it at hair. Don't anybody come up with some grosser thing as to what that might be. And it looks like he has a singular tooth sticking out. Some slime on the other side as well. And some really neat horns. 
Not only are the horns really cool, and I see I got a little indentation. That's what happens when you start using hooks and things and key change. You always get like little indentations in your skin. Don't worry, my skin will survive. But some really neat paint on the on the horns. I like that quite a bit. Uh, they aren't posable. Uh, really, none of the boogies are posable. They're just PVC pieces. But there's some substantial weight to them, and I like that quite a bit. Uh, for a scale comparison, by the way, one of the other ones that I reviewed, we got ourselves the Pocket Boogie. This is Optimus Slime. You can see the difference between the two. As cool as Optimus Slime was, and I kind of wish that there was a larger version of him, um, you can see a real stark contrast in sizing between the two. Moving him out of the way. The display base is flocked. It's got a nice purple flocking on it. There's a little clip at the top that you can take the card. I would probably flip it around to have Bleeding Hell sticking visible. There you go. And you can peg it into place like so. And you can just peg the figure on the front. Or, something Spot had also discovered when he was reviewing Mr. Snot, is you can take the card off, and this whole display base pops right out. Put that right there, zooming in, and you've got the boogies on a smaller display base. So if it's, if it's something there you don't necessarily want to be taking up maybe a lot of space, you can peg Bleeding Hell, not quite, not quite in there. You can peg Bleeding Hell into his display base, and you've got a nice showpiece as well. Of the two, and Spot really only picked up two, this and Mr. Snot, uh, of the two, Bleeding Hell definitely is my favorite. He's got a nice red coloring, and he would look so awesome hanging from my mirror. If you're interested in picking this guy up, certainly any of the other boogies that Spot has looked up, uh, showed during these reviews, you can de definitely go to weloveodd.com, click the link, check them out. Definitely a lot of cool things there. Today's collectible spot, we're having a look. Oh, and I'm still thinking about that guy with his bloodied socks. Today, though, we're having a look at Bleeding Hell. One bit of mucus you don't want to contend with. Thanks for watching, though, guys. See you next time.